finished testing the Alumcraft 2072 Bay. Now this is their new tricked up uh, bay boat. It's got the dual paint scheme on the console, uh, lots of stainless steel all around, even a special spackle coat on the deck here. It's powered by a Yamaha F-115 VMAX show. Now this thing's a hot rod of a little engine. Gave us great performance. Even though this boat's rated for up to a 150, we got on a plane in 2.7 seconds with very little bow rise to 30 miles an hour in 7 seconds flat with a top speed of 44.6 miles an hour, which is humming right along. 150 would put this around a 50 mile an hour boat. Let's head back to the dock and check out some of the features. Well, Chris, when you were pulling up the marina here, um, I, you know, I'd seen this model before, but all of a sudden, man, there was something uh, vastly different about it. Yep. What's going on? It's got a lot more pop. Um, well, we added a new color this year. <clears throat> um, it's the copper. And um, what we did is created a new um, option package called the Coastal Edition. Coastal Edition um, comes with the two-tone exterior paint. It comes with the two-tone helm stand. It comes with the the backrest cushion, the seat cushion for the console. It comes with the, uh, the stainless steel flip-up cleats, hydraulic steering, and the splatter paint on the deck um, in the color of the boat that you choose. So if you chose um, red, you would get the orange splatter as well. Oh, nice. so, yeah. Now, did that blow up the price, or is it still affordable boat? No, it, it, it didn't change the price significantly at all. So you were still under 30000 for this package? Well under 30000 boat motor trailer with a 115 hydraulic steering, um, you know, yeah, loaded, loaded. Yeah, the VMAX show, that's a, that's a premium engine too. Yeah, it sure is. That's it great. runs real well with that motor. So what do we have up front here? Okay, so um, this boat's got the optional Minn Kota 70-pound thrust riptide. Um, got a huge casting deck or a, a deck to throw your cast net. Um, the boat does come standard with a fish seat here, mm -hmm. uh, which I don't have shown. But if you want to do a little bass fishing, striper fishing, you can install the seat. Um, it's got a nice big storage compartment here um, for life jackets or fishing equipment, anything like right. that. It is lockable. Um, as we move further back, you've got on either side, port and starboard, um, lockable rod boxes oh, yeah. that will accommodate up to a seven foot rod. And you can comfortably put four rods per side, nice. um, maybe even more according to the size rods you're using. Very good. So Chris, what do we have going on here? So this boat's got the optional Hummingbird Helix 5 GPS fish finder sonar unit. Um, boat comes standard with coastal package uh, with tilt wheel. It is a stainless steel steering wheel. You got your standard Yamaha binnacle box. You've got stainless bezels around the gauges, nice stainless cup holder, easy access to fill your hydraulic fluid for the hydraulic steering, and then your typical switches, your nav lights, your bilge. It is actually an automatic bilge as well. Aerator for your bait well forward. And then you've got courtesy lighting and then a 12 volt receptacle for uh, charging cell phone or cool. whatever. And I need. noticed the batteries for the trolling motor, uh, the two batteries down here are right on the center line and they're moved forward a little bit so they're not, everything's not in the trunk there. Right. Give we, you a little better auto, the whole performance, I guess. We, we want to um, distribute the weight evenly, um, give you much better access to them versus, like you said, having all the batteries in the back of the boat. So, yeah, the boat runs real well when, with the batteries uh, where they are. This is a nice upscale little uh, 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 leaning post here. Yeah, we actually, um, instead of using aluminum, um, much like the rest of the boat, we opted to go stainless steel on it as well. Mm -hmm. um, just kind of goes with the, the theme of the boat, um, you know, high quality. So Yeah, I like these jump seats too. Jump seats are nice. Um, you know, they've got nice storage underneath them. Uh, there's a storage box under both of them. And then when they close, they lock in place and you can stand on them and uh, you walk across them to use as a casting platform you can yeah. fish off of. Yeah, the one thing I like is it's not just held up by the cushion, you know, where it's real bouncy. Uh, it's actually, it's actually uh, a frame right here, so yeah, it's, it's a nice solid uh, connection there. The seat back is, yeah, it's actually tooled into the boat itself. Yeah, very nice. With a nice rubber um, clamp to hold the door shut, or the, the seat back shut when you're moving down the lake. Now, Chris, uh, is this the max horsepower for this boat? No, it's not. But we can actually run up to a 150 horsepower motor on this boat. Wow. But it runs really well with a 115 and it keeps that price point where you want it. Yeah, this VMAX show, you, it's, it's a little hot rod of an engine. Yeah, you know. It really is. And for the little nice price difference yeah, uh, between that and the standard 115, it, it certainly seems to be worth it. For more information on the Alumacraft 2072 Bay and other great boats, go to BoatingWorld.com. I'm Alan Jones, and we'll see you out in the water.